Hi, I'm Charles, and this is another Linux video. I'm using Linux Mint 14 Mate here, and what I thought I'd do is start a series of videos on Linux gaming. Uh, Linux sometimes gets bad rap about gaming, and I'm hoping that through this series of videos that we can kind of dismiss a little bit of that. Um, <coughs> now, the game that we're going to look at is not necessarily the, the greatest graphics. It's, you know, 3D graphics do make a game enjoyable, but not always. I mean, people that of my generation know from some of the classic Commodore 64 games, they didn't have amazing graphics, but they were really fun to play. So some of these games are, are kind of that generation, um, and we'll look at some more graphical games as we go on. So the one I thought I'd take a look at right now is called The Mana World, and it is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, and it's got a 2D interface that looks kind of like an uh, anime RPG, basically. And it is a client-server-based game, so you need to uh, you need an internet connection. Now you could set up your own um, you could set up your own uh, server, which is actually what I've done. I've set up this server at allsbell.org. So if you load up your client, you can actually go to this server. Now the main server itself actually requires registration. And so if you've got a client, what you'll have to do is go to www.themanaworld.org and then go to the registration page, fill in a username, a password, email, select a gender, do the CAPTCHA, register, wait. Um, that's not the case with all the servers, and there are some other servers here you can see. So there's the official server, which is, is the one that, uh, the main server that I'm showing here. There's a Brazil server, German server, my server, Land of Fire alternate. Not all of these are necessarily going at the same time, or running 24-7, um, so just check the, check the information. Altsville is, um, but let's get to looking at the client. So we're going to connect to the main server. I've actually already set up an account here. And enter username and password here. And the first time that you log in, it's going to take a little while. It's got to download, um, download a bunch of updated items. And one of the great things about uh, games like this is that they're constantly changing. So you're going to get updates to uh, the game. There will be new quests, there will be uh, new items, new things to accumulate. And like any MMORPG, part of this is to accumulate as much as possible and to do these quests and kind of be the best possible. Now this game is limited to uh, 90, level 99. So once you reach level 99, you've kind of hit the max and, you know, you can keep going and up, you know, up certain things. It, at that point, it just really becomes an accumulation game, totally. Um, getting there, though, I must say, after level 90, it, to get to 99 is a, is a real big jump. It's a real uh, time-consuming thing. Just getting from 90 to 91, 92, and 93 is huge increase as you go up each one of those, uh, each one of those levels. Now, this is not the only client. I'm using version 0.6.1 of the official client. Um, there is a, another client called the 4144 client, and uh, that is actually the client that I prefer. It just has some uh, nice little extras to it, and you can get it from manaplus.evolonline.org. There is actually a Evol Online um, server as well, and not sure if that's on the official servers list, but it's a, it's a great server too. And um, you can see there's a lot of packages. It's not just for Linux. You've got most of the Linux distributions. You've got a test version for OS X, and I believe there's even a Windows version. There is a Windows version of this, uh, the official client at least. So once you're ready, just says completed. You can see the uh, 
information about new quests. You just click play. And <coughs> you can see you've got several slots for characters here. I'm going to pick this one here. And you can see I've got colorful robes. I am actually not really a mage, though there are lots of people that are mages. And we'll just kind of go around for a second. And I'm going to actually equip my equipment that I should have on. So I'm going to equip my shield, equip this, equip this stuff, and this, and this. There we go, that's better. And then let's go down and let's look at... So this is the mana world. These are actually monsters, and some of these guys will attack you right away. Some will not. It just depends on where you're going. One thing you'll want to do when you first get into the game is to look at the setup here. Go in and look at the keyboard here. Now there's joystick and, and mouse and all that, but you're just... it's mainly keyboard based. Um, the one thing I like to do is unassign and reassign things. So I'm going to assign this little ticky and um, for target monster, which is normally A, I'm going to assign it the left alt button and click apply. And there's no conflicts here. In the 4144 client, there is a lot more keys. So you're going to want to um, you're going to want to be careful doing that because you can adjust because there's so many keys in use on that client, you can actually muck things up um, and can see guild whisper, whisper. So you can have guilds in the game. Uh, a little bit laggy here. Part of it, I think, seems to be the GTK record my desktop. What you have to do first before you attack a monster is actually target it and then attack. And that's it. You can see the experience at the top, the 73 go just quickly over to an area where there's uh, a bit more trouble. You can kind of see some of the, the worldly guys. Most of these guys aren't going to uh, attack. You've got plants, things to collect and accu accumulate, buildings to go into, um, NPCs to interact with. Let's just go in for a second. N and then T for talk. And you can see interaction. Some uh, interact more. There's shops, different different things like that. Let's just go down. Let's see. There is a faster way to do this, but give you the, the long tour here. Sure. Oh, nothing there. Down, going down, going down. So we're going to an area called the graveyard here. And um, often what people do is right at the beginning of the, the town that we were in, there's a little guy sitting outside and he will actually, for a certain amount of cash, transport you here. Uh, generally, I find it's just easier just to walk over. You can see this area looks a little bit more uh, clouded over. That's because this is kind of a swampy, dense da area, and there we go. We see there's somebody else there. Just do a little smiley. Oh, and we have a skeleton. A couple of them. Let's help them out here. Oh. And you can see the different character types. This guy's an archer. I'm more of a warrior. And um, different benefits to each. There's also the mage sort of class. There's no official classes. Um, but let's go look at the graveyard. Looks like he's pulled a bunch of these skeletons around. Okay, so this is the graveyard. They will un attack unprovoked, those guys. Um, skeletons and zombies, you can see here. I'm being attacked by a zombie, and you can hear the special effects. Well, that's about all I want to show you at this point for the man world. We'll look at some other uh, RPGs at a later later time. Actually, let's just see if we can get uh, finish this guy off. Now, one thing I like about the 4144 client is that by default it shows um, it shows damage. So this is something that 
you have to enable on the other client, and now you can see we actually see the damage as we're killing. You can see I don't just kill him with one or two hits. Um, now I'm statted up as you most, most as with most RPGs, you have stats, and these are kind of my stats. They're, they're nothing. S a lot of people would be critical of these stats. I like them. I find that it works really well for me. I can sit in a, between a couple of zombies or a couple of fallen, and I have very little problem uh, defeating them. You now, if they're a slew more come, then I'm in a bit of trouble. But otherwise, uh, the stats work. So, and you can see there are criticals that come up as well sometimes. So that is when you hit them a little harder and they, they show up in, in kind of a, a uh, bright and green. So this is him hitting me in red with one hit and there was no drop there. Here's our experience. That's it to the mana world. Um, up at the top here you can see there's, there's different bars. This is my, my health. This is my, uh, the percent that I need to get to the next level. If we go here, you can see that right now he's level 92 with almost no money. It's banked. Um, that's it. You've got character points here. These get assigned to the strength, agility, vitality, intelligence, dexterity, and luck. As you have more, I could assign these to intelligence right now. As you up each of the stats, you can see the requirement goes up for assigning these stats. So if I wanted to put more into dexterity, I'd need at least eight points. You gain these points, of course, by leveling. And uh, again, that's it. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you in another uh, Linux video soon.